Let us now go and look at the graph that we are given and what is required of us. This is the graph that we are given. So let me read the scenario and then move down to the graph. Mumisa, an entertainment um, committee member, made three quotations for a school farewell function. Study the graphs below and answer the questions that follow. So we've got venue A, B, and C. And then we can see, I, I like interpreting things before I go to the question. So venue A, this is venue A, guys. Ne? And look at the key over here. So this would be venue A. Venue A is going up and it says to us here that it's 5,000 Rand plus 125 per lena or pay whatever. That N stands for number of people. And then Venue B is going to be the one with the triangles. So it's this one. The, this line is called a constant line. Okay? Constant line graph. Why is it constant? It never changes. Starts at 25,000, ends at 25,000, no matter what the number of people are. So you can see also here that that 25,000, guys, the venue could literally have 250 people, 1,000 people, and it will still cost 25,000 rand. So you need to be able to um, interpret the graphs when they are given like that. That's a constant graph. I'm going to show you the other one. The last one is venue C. Then you see the one with, that almost looks spiky. Starts here and it ends over here. These two graphs, guys, this graph and this graph, are, I would call them um, direct proportion graphs. Why are they direct proportion graphs? Because as the number of people increase, as the number of people increase going that way, the cost also increases going up there. So it's constant. But you can see, let me not go too much into these graphs. Let's go answer before we run out of time because I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, I just want to make that clean for us. Okay. So that was just me now. I've got my graph there. I'm going to read now all the questions that I need to read concerning this particular graph. The first question says to us, how much will it cost for hosting a function at venue A for 100 people? In this particular case, all you're going to do is trace on the graph. We're going to go to 100 people and trace it up to the money, okay? So this is 100 people and we're looking for venue A. So we're going to go up until we touch this graph and then it's going to tell us the amount of money. Ne? So 100 people, I'm going up, 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 there. And it's even halfway in that. Then I'm going to go sideways. Remember, I said to you, it's halfway, so that's what I want to do. Ne? So it's going to be halfway. I hope I am correct. Two, two, yes, halfway between um, 15,000 and 20,000. So I would say halfway between 15,000 and 20,000. This graph is going up in, let me see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. It's going up in twos. So in this particular case, um, it's 15,000. So I would say that it's going to be... Um, 15,750. That could work, but it might not work. Let me see something with the calculator. A little bit of trial and error. 15,000 plus 20,000 divided by 2. Oh, actually. No, I did something wrong. Something is not correct here. It's 15,123 divided by 20,123 equals 2 divided by 2. 375. Okay? That's not really working out for me. But I choose 
that I am going to use what is halfway between 15,000 and 20,000? 800. It's going to be 18,000. Okay, so it's going to be um, 18,000 Rand. Okay, <laughs> thank you so much for that. So it's going to be in between, so I'm not going to make it 18,000, it's going to be 7, 17,500. Okay, because it's all the way in between. Thank you so much. I got a little bit of help over there. So in terms of that, it's going to be 17,500 Rand um, that I am working with. 17,500. I got dribbled for a moment over there. Thank you so much. <laughs> so the next question um, that we are working with says to us, identify the most expensive venue to entertain 180 people. So what we want to do is find where 180 is going to be. So this is 160, 70, 80, 90, 200. So 180 is going to be over here. And then it says the most expensive one. So it means that the one I touch first is not the most expensive. The one I touch second is not the most expensive, but the very last one. So let's go up. Up, 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 up. So this is going to be the most expensive venue because it's above the other venues. So it's going to be venue C. Number three. Number three says to us, determine the number of people that can be hosted for 4,000 Rand at venue C. So every time they talk about people, I'm going up. Now they're talking about money. Now I'm going to go from the money sideways until I touch um, C. And then it's going to tell me how many people are going to be needed. Let's go to 5.1.3. So it says to us here for 4,000 Rand. 4,000 Rand, guys. So this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 4,000 Rand is going to be over here. And then I'm going to go until I touch C. Ne? C is the spiky one. So this is C. And then C is going to be us going down halfway again. Ooh, this graph. Okay. So this is 50. So I'm assuming it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So it means this venue will be able to accommodate five people because this is in between zero and 10. Five people and honestly also it means for every five people you're going to pay four thousand rand number four number four says to us write down write down the three intersection points of the graph so intersection is where the graphs meet Okay, wherever the graphs are meeting, that's the intersection. So this graph, apparently, according to what they're telling us, meets at three points. Every time, guys, you write an intersection, I'm going to encourage you to do this. Every time you write down an intersection, write down the X and the Y values. So say to me, they're meeting at 4,000 and this. Do you understand? The X, the X in this case is the number of people. And then the Y is going to be the amount of money. Let's look at the first intersection. The first intersection, let's look at it on the screen here. The first intersection um, that we are looking at is this one. And that's in the middle, guys. Again, in the middle. Okay, so this is clearly going up in one thousands. So it's going to be um, six, seven. So it's going to be 7,500 Rand. So it's 7,500 Rand. And it's 20. So it's 20 and 7,500 Rand.
And then the next one, before time is up, is going to be that intersection over there, which is going to be 90 um, and 25,000 rand. 